Okay, so we've done a cross tabulation and we executed a chi-squared test to test whether the relationship is statistically significant. We found that the relationship between region and race and ethnicity is statistically significant. Um, so we can see from the descriptive statistics from the table what the observed uh, distributions look like. And we know that they're statistically significant. But what we haven't determined yet and what, why we would turn to the measures of association is to help us uh, determine substantively how much of the variation in race and ethnicity is explained by region of the country. And measuring the association between these two variables is kind of interesting, I think, because if you, if you think about the two variables, region and race and ethnicity, these are both nominal level variables with uh, more than two categories. Uh, and there's not an ordering to these things. So if we were to say, like, you know, how strong is the relationship between region and race and ethnicity, it wouldn't make sense to say, you know, as the value of region is larger, the value of race and ethnicity gets larger or gets smaller. So some of the measures of association we might think about, um, like doing a correlation analysis or later on um, doing a linear regression analysis that would you know give us some um, measure of model fit, it, it doesn't really work in this instance because these values aren't ordered. They're you know categorical variables, but we still might want to know like how much does the, the categories of the dependent variable how much of the vari the variation in the observed values of the category in the within the categories is explained by the categories of the independent variables. That's why we would use the measures of association. It's fairly easy to implement these measures of association. They're built in uh, to the chi square uh, the cross tabsy function, similar to the way that the chi square test is built into the function. Uh, there are three of them built in. Uh, one of them, I'll kind of show you all three really quickly here. Uh, lambda is one of them. And if we add the lambda argument and set the value equal to true, we should get our uh, cross tabulation again. Uh, it's going to show us our chi-squared results and then report the lambda measure of association. And it says that the lambda measure is zero. So that's saying that our ability to predict values of the dependent variable is not improved by our knowledge of the independent variable. Why do we get that result? So if we go back to the cross tabulation, so lambda is generally very useful for this particular cross tabulation. It's, it's not particularly useful, and here's why. Uh, if we look at the cross tabulation again, if we didn't know value, say if we had a random respondent uh, picked out and we wanted to guess their race or ethnicity, um, and we didn't know what part of the country they were from, we just knew that they were just randomly picked, so we're making a naive prediction. We would say that that random respondent is probably white, because if we look at the marginal distribution, it shows that 65% of the country is white. So that would be the mode of the dependent variable, and if we had to make a guess, it would be... Uh, the modal category. Does knowledge of the independent variable region change the predictions that we would make? Well, if we get the information that the, the you know, we randomly pick out a respondent and we're, we learn that the respondent is from the Northeast, what race or ethnicity would we predict for the res Northeast respondent? Well, it would still be white because the modal category uh, in the Northeast is white. What about Midwest? Well, the same situation. Uh, the modal category of race and ethnicity in the Midwest is still white. If we learn that the respondent was from the South, well, our guess remains the same. It's still white because that's the modal category and also occurs in the West. Where in the West, the modal category is white. So lambda is a measure of how much the knowledge of the independent variable increases our ability to predict values of the dependent variable. And it doesn't really work here because the modal category doesn't change. We would make the same predictions without knowing race or ethnicity as we would with race or ethnicity. Fortunately, so lambda 
Works great in some instances. In this instance, it doesn't work so well because the modal categories don't change by value with the independent variable. But we have a couple other measures of association and these should work better for us. Now, I'm gonna show a separate example for Somers D because Somers D is a measure of ordinal ordinal associations. But the one that would be useful in this instance is called Kramer's, uh, Kramer's D. So to have the function calculate the Kramer's D measure of association, we add the Kramer's argument and set the value equal to true. I'm gonna take off Lambda. We need to see that again. So let's run Kramer's and then we will talk about the results. We should get the same cross tabulation, the same chi-squared test of independence result, and then finally get the Kramer's measure of association. So we get the Kramer's V value equal to 0 0.16. So the Kramer's V will vary, uh, can, can range between zero and one. Uh, so this is on the low end, closer to zero than it is to one. Uh, that's not exactly close to zero. So it doesn't have exactly the most straightforward interpretation. Like it's not proportional reduction in error, but it's more like a correlation measure uh, saying that the correlation between these two nominal level categorical variables is 0.16. Sort of a modestly strong relationship between those variables, but we know that it is statistically significant. And we can see you know, what that regional variation looks like. Okay, I'm gonna show another example of a cross tabulation uh, to illustrate uh, why we would use Somers D and how we would use it. Uh, so I'm gonna do a quick cross tabulation between the dependent variable, whether NES respondents are feel concerned about how often they feel concerned about other races and their party identification. And I should add on the weights, and get a more representative analysis. So let's first give this a run with the descriptive statistics uh, in the cross tabulation. Uh, this is breaking a little bit, so I'm gonna just, okay. Uh, so we can see the descriptive statistics, the independent variable values range from Democrat to independent Republican. I would call that like a three category ordinal measure, increasingly Republican, and then a five category measure ranging from extremely often to not often at all. So this is ordered well with higher values of the variable numerically one, two, three, four, five, meaning uh, less often caring for other races. Um, and we can see again our marginal distribution and how that compares to the Conditional distributions to look at one of them overall 14.47% of the sample uh, say that they are have are extremely often feel concerned for other races, but that's broken down by can be broken down by party ID where it's 21.29 of Democrats 13.65 of independents and 7.91 of Republicans. The chi-squared test would tell us or help us determine whether this distribution could be the product of random sampling error. So let's take a look at the results of a quick chi-squared test. We have a relatively large chi-squared number and a relatively small p-value. So it appears to be a statistically significant relationship between the two variables, which really isn't too surprising. And the main reason I wanted to run this example with the ordinal ordinal comparison is to use the Somers argument. And Somers is a measure of association to have uh, the function calculated. We add the optional argument Somers and we set it equal to true. And that will give us the table again in the chi-squared st statistics again, but add on another section, the Somers D measure of association. So it tells us that the Somers D measure of association is 0.22. 2. 
in this uh, Somers deval. It's a very complex calculation, so it's great to have the computer do it for us. But, and the result of it is rather informative. So the value is 0.22, and it's it's telling that it's a positive value. So it tells us that the relationship uh, between these two variables goes in a positive direction. Um, so it says that the value of the dependent variable uh, tends to go to the higher values, which in this case, it would be like row, you know, row one is the low value to five is the higher value. So it's going to trend upward as we move from left to right uh, to higher values of the independent variable. So as the respondents get increasingly Republican, the frequency of the responses that they care less often about other races tends to increase. So that's the, the trend is positive between these two variables. And to interpret that, I, I went through kind of carefully about that because uh, to interpret it, the positive or negative value of the Somers D statistic, you want to look closely at how the variables are actually coded in the data set because it would be possible to reverse the coding here uh, and have the dependent variable values range from not, we could flip, flip this around, so it would range from not often at all at the top uh, to extremely often at the bottom. And if that were the case, then we would get a negative SOMERS uh, D statistic. So that statistic, the positive or negative, needs to be interpreted in the context of how the variables are actually coded, which you can see on the table itself. And that the value can range from minus one to positive one. Uh, and we have a 0 0.22 here. And this can be interpreted as um, a percent, a proportion or percentage, the percentage or proportion of the variation in the dependent variable that's explained by the independent variable. So 0.22 of the variation in the dependent variable, uh, other race concern is explained by variation in the independent variable, NES party identification. Uh, so 22% of the variation is explained. So that's not most of the variation, but that's a, a fair amount of the variation um, in uh, concern for other races explained by one variable party identification.